This is a midweek thought for Wednesday the 9th of September. In recent years we seem to have heard talk about some people preparing for disaster. They've stored up water and food, bracing themselves for impending doom by gathering all the provisions and non-perishables that they could possibly store away. In case the worst happens, they want to be sure that they have sufficient food and other goods so that they can survive. I don't suppose that such people would ever have imagined what has happened throughout much of the world with COVID-19. And maybe what they have done has been of some benefit to them in the pandemic which has already and continues to sweep through much of the world. Turning to the Bible, we have to say that while we are certainly instructed to be prudent in preparing for the future, we are called, for example, to plan ahead to care for those who are closest to us. It would seem that we don't seem to hear as many people talking about how they can meet the needs of others in times of crisis. Frequently, the concern would seem to be more about self-preservation. That said, though, we can give thanks for the many people who have risen to the challenge of COVID-19. We must not forget that many people have sacrificed a great deal for the sake of others in recent times. I find it challenging to read in the New Testament, particularly in 2 Corinthians, about the church in Macedonia in the time of the Apostle Paul. Although they were faced with severe challenges to their personal safety and also to their financial situation, they begged earnestly for the favour of helping other believers who were struggling to make ends meet. In giving sacrificially out of their own needs, they were, as we are told in Matthew's Gospel, laying up treasures in heaven and manifesting the generous giving heart of Jesus. We're aware that over the last six months there's been a great downturn in the economy. Many people would seem to have lost a great deal. And such circumstances can sometimes cause people to wring their hands and to get into a panic about how dire the outlook appears. But if we are Christians, if we have come to a saving faith in Jesus Christ, then we need, I believe, to be confident in his ample provision. And we should therefore be able to view such difficult times as opportunities to show to others something of the goodness and the grace of God. And in my mind, Few things make this statement so profoundly than when we are generous givers, especially when seen against the background of conditions which make self-preservation such a natural way of life. I read the story of a farmer who was known for his generous giving. His friends could not understand how he could give so much and yet remain so prosperous. One day one of his friends told him that they just could not understand him. He gave far more away than any of the rest of them, and yet he always seemed to have more to give. And the farmer's response was that that was easy to explain. He was simply shoveling, he said, from God's bin, and God kept shoveling back into his. And after all, God has the bigger shovel. We read in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, Paul's words about sowing generously, and his comment that God is able to make all grace abound to us, so that in all things, at all times, having all that we need, we may abound in every good work. I find such words a challenge as I look to the future. And I think there's a word here for us all regarding how we need to be mindful of the needs of others 
as we think ahead to the future can I ask what are some of the practical ways in which you and I could express the generous heart of God to others during these difficult days